Hello everyone, my name is Riccardo Colla and I'm the Director of Digital Food Science at RIPE.io. RIPE.io provides a blockchain-powered platform to access information on the origin, the journey, the quality and the sustainability of food. In this short video, we will explore why blockchain and distributed ledger technology are particularly suited to address fundamental challenges of our food system, such as food waste, for example, and how they can be applied to build more resilient and sustainable food systems. A blockchain is a distributed digital ledger providing a tamper-proof way for each network participants of contributing and accessing data. The two distinctive features of shared governance and data immutability allow to create this single shared and trusted record of transaction. Applied to the agri-food supply chain, it allows each direct participant as well as external stakeholders such as regulator or auditors to have a more reliable and complete visibility on the life cycle of food from the way it is grown, passing through transformation, distribution and all the way to the final consumption. So why would the agri-food sector invest in a technology bringing more visibility and thus challenging the status quo? Well, commercial opportunities linked to consumer demand for more transparency are a major driver. Companies use blockchain often coupled with other digital tools such as QR codes to provide consumers access to information about their product, thereby building or improving brand trust and sometimes also the possibility to transfer value back to, star, to, to small farmers. A distributed, secured and shared ledger capable of receiving and linking information from various sources is also increasingly used in food waste prevention by addressing systemic supply chain inefficiencies such as inaccurate forecasting, improper storage and handling, and lack of communication between parties. It also provides a much faster and reliable way to access critical information on food safety, making the procedures of product recall more efficient and effective. A growing body of use cases also is around monitoring environmental and social sustainability. As an example, farmers recording regenerative practices and their greenhouse gases impact on an auditable blockchain platform could have easier access to government or private sector incentives, generate additional source of revenue in the midterm through carbon credits, or improve productivity of the land in the long term. Last, the possibility to embed business rules, what are so-called smart contracts in the blockchain, provide great process automation benefits. For example, to guarantee the maintenance of quality throughout the whole, whole supply chain. A code can be added so that a product that exceeds uh, the maximum temperature set during its transportation could be automatically prevented from being accepted and paid for by the end purchaser. This seems also promising, but how do we go about a practical implementation in the food system? Well, looking at the food value chain, we have multiple known stakeholders, often at very different levels of digitization. Blockchain on its own does little, if not part of a full data acquisition platform, capable to absorb and store data and documents from multiple sources, including sensors, static databases, and diverse management systems. Equally important is that sensitive information is protected. Each participant might require its own access rights with the possibility to decide what data to share with anyone else in the chain. A permission ledger with selected access rather than a platform open to anyone is often the most suitable choice. Critical to a successful outcome is not to rush to implementation without building a solid case, including desired outcomes and appropriate incentives for each participant. Failure of even one entity to collaborate can have negative repercussions along the entire supply chain. While the introduction of blockchain into agri-food has yet to reach maturity, we are pleased to record the increasing evidence from pilot and enterprise projects showing that the benefits far outweigh the initial investment.